Hey guys, Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com and today on my weekly video we are going to talk about a question that I see a lot of times in my groups, uh, my Tumblr vlogs, and also just tarantula communities in general about Chilean rose hero tarantulas. Um, a lot of times, especially for beginners, they complain about their rose hairs not eating a lot or they just like completely stop eating and it creates them a ton of stress. And I can totally relate to this because this is something that I really struggled with when I first got Spidey. A Spidey is an older Chilean rose hair tarantula and she spends most of her time fasting. And I did not really know this at first because she was eating at the time when I first got her, but then quickly went on this big six month long fast and I thought she was going to die and it was so um, anxiety inducing for me. So I totally feel this pain, um, but I want to kind of address this um, not to, so that people don't freak out that their tarantula isn't eating um, because usually it's really nothing to worry about. And the main reason I know this is just from my own experience with Spidey. So like I said, the first time I, I got her and she was fasting, she fasted for like six months or more and then she molted. Uh, great molt, very quick, easy for her. And she was eating again about a week and a half later after her fangs had hardened and she was ready to accept food. So she was eating for maybe like a week or two after that pretty regularly, very hungry as usual if you had not been eating for about six months. And then she just like stopped fast, stopped eating again. And then it was like a year and a half before she felt like eating again. And this was like kind of traumatic for me because of, of course the first period was really stressful, but the year and a half was really stressful too for me. And uh, honestly, I thought there was something wrong with her. I thought she was gonna die. Um, I was pretty comforted by the fact that she was still drinking water and her abdomen still looked pretty plump and she looked healthy otherwise she was moving around she wasn't acting like there was anything wrong with her but i was still very concerned i would still try to feed her or offer her food every like two to three weeks to see if she felt like eating um i ended up with a lot of pet worms and crickets during this time that i had to keep alive because she wasn't eating them um, so it was definitely a time for me and I feel this pain so much for people who are just going through this for the first time. But I can say that Spidey survived without eating for a year and a half and she molted and everything was fine. And then the cycle began again. So um, I've kind of come to relax into this knowledge that um, Spidey and older tarantulas, especially rose hair tarantulas, do not need to eat all the time. They don't need to have strict feeding schedules um, when they are adults. Um, now slings definitely do um, because you wanna get them out of that fragile state and they do need to eat a little bit more frequently so that they can grow. But for grandma tarantulas like Spidey, she is well into her adult years. Her molts are two to three years apart now. So she is elderly and she doesn't need to eat a lot. And uh, I will say that for people who are concerned about this problem, rose hair tarantulas are notorious for fasting regardless of whether they're going to molt or not. They just, they're very finicky eaters. They just stop eating for no good reason. Um, I mean, sometimes it is connected to a molt. It can also be connected to the weather. Uh, for example, tarantulas do definitely go through a slowed appetite or hibernation phase uh, during the colder months if you're living in a place like that. But uh, rose hairs, if, if you know somebody else who has a rose hair, they'll tell you the same thing. This is just something that these guys do. And it's really hard for the owners. Um, this is one of the main reasons why rose hair tarantulas are not really recommended for new tarantula owners because this particular thing can actually be very very, very stressful. So I wanted to share that with you um, to kind of just show that, um, you know, tarantulas don't really work the way we do uh, as far as their metabolisms. They're so slow and uh, it's, it's really okay if they don't eat for a while. They're actually pretty hardy creatures. So if you have an adult tarantula that just stops eating for a few months, as long as it has access to water, and everything in its closure is fine, there's no like injuries or things that you can tell, um, it's probably just gonna be okay. And I'd also like to mention for new tarantula owners, if you even have a young rose hair tarantula or really any tarantula um, that will not eat right when you get home or in, 
it, you're trying to feed it, don't worry because they actually take several uh, days or weeks sometimes to get used to their new surroundings and that will definitely be a time where they feel stressed out and they don't really want to eat. If you do have a tarantula that eats right when you get it and put it in, a, in its new tank, that's great. But in my experience, um, whenever I clean Spidey's tank or do something, redecorating or whatever, she will not want to eat for a while um, just because she's very nervous and she's trying to get comfortable and settled in. So yeah, for anyone who is struggling with um, thinking that their rosehair tarantula is starving, I just wanna let you know that you can probably relax. And as you become more experienced and getting to know your spider and like their rhythms and their, their weird feeding cycles, um, you will know that this is kind of a spider whose appetite is completely unpredictable. And um, this is probably something that you need to get used to. So, you know, I kind of, I do track how long Spidey's fasting. Right now she's, she's going on several months, um, about four to five months now. <laughs> Um, but um, I don't necessarily stress about it. I just kind of keep track. I try to and um, it's been about two years since her last molt too so I do kind of keep track of those things but other than that like I kind of let her just do her thing and I trust her spider's body signals and that she will know what to do. So right now with that being said I do have some pet roaches that I acquired three weeks ago because Spidey didn't want to eat them and that's kind of the cycle now. I try to introduce food to her every month to see if she feels like eating again. Um, but she's been refusing food for several months now and I'm not really worried about it. I see her drink her water. Her abdomen looks nice, plump, and healthy. Um, she goes through periods of high activity where she digs all around her tank so I know that she's her body's fine, there's nothing wrong with her body and its movements. Um, and she's also going through, well now she's going through a rest period because she had a very active period last month where she was digging a lot. So, um, but that's also healthy for her, is to go through these cycles of rest and activity. So, um, as long as she's behaving normally um, outside of her eating habits, I don't worry too much about it. And my perspective is that you probably don't have to worry about it too much too. So anyway, I hope that comforts anybody who's dealing with a rose hair tarantula that is on a hunger streak. It's something that you're going to have to get used to, as I said before. Um, but anyway, if you would like to read a little bit more information about my experience with Spidey, you can read the blog post below. You can also subscribe to this channel and my Tarantula Tuesday newsletter, which is also in the link below. I do put out tarantula videos and blog tips and a newsletter every single week to kind of share my knowledge and interesting topics about spiders and tarantulas. And um, I also have a tarantula guide out also in the link below and I have a tarantula magazine also in the link below. So all of that info is down there. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.